four score and seven years ago. No, honest to God, I was living in Texas at the time, enjoying being in Pantera. Meanwhile, keeping my relationship together with Jimmy Bauer, who was living in Atlanta, then New Orleans, back in New Orleans. He's originally a New Orleans boy, as is Pepper Keenan, who had joined a Corrosion of Conformity, who's based out of North Carolina for, uh, he'd been in the band, I guess, three or four years. And, um... Uh, Kirk Winstein from well, he was with the Slugs, which eventually changed to Crowbar. Uh, we were also in in, in cahoots, so to speak, and uh, we 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 kind of uh, we were definitely all into the same style of music, which was bands that were spinoff bands of Black Sabbath. And what I mean by spinoff bands of Black Sabbath, I mean bands like St. Vitus, Witchfinder General, Trouble, Pentagram, etc., etc., The Obsessed, whatever. Bands like that. So in our minds, that was having one up on the regular bit of competition that, you know, may have been out there or not. Uh, just by being that well educated on the Black Sabbath thing that was going on out there. And um, I guess we just decided between a few of us to, you know, just jam and start a band, you know. And the original idea was that Pepper had was to do a three-song demo uh, I came up with the band name Down, and uh, which is more coming from a depression side, a down side, you know, uh, of that type of uh, emotion. It's definitely not like we're yo kid down with something. It's absolutely no. That is not the concept at all. Down means stunted. Anyway, regardless. We uh, put out this three-song demo, which came together very, very quickly. Matter of fact, in a weekend. Matter of fact, two days of a weekend, like a, fr a Saturday and a Sunday. And three songs rolled out of us. And Pepper's idea was to put it out and not tell the rest of the world who, who was in the band. Just... We were curious because we were watching the underground crumble before our very eyes, what we had originated and, and, and thought of as the underground, which involved a lot of tape trading and uh, just, uh, you know, it, it was a big movement, you know, and tape trading was a big part of it. Everything from demos to hard to find records to, you know, just anything you can lay your hands on, you know, old demos from very established bands, you know, if Slayer had were to have a demo floating around out there, we would have been all over it, and uh, not, not just bands like Slayer, uh, local bands, fucking any kind of band, and um, we wanted to do a test on this particular failing underground on how quickly we could circulate this band down in this tape by dubbing it off for a bunch of people and giving it to them for free, practically. It, it worked until we did a live show, and then all of a sudden, bam, everybody knew who the fuck we were. And uh, then the questions came, and they started rolling. And three songs became six. Six songs became nine eventually. And that 
henceforth was the reason why we did shows. We had enough songs to do shows, and uh, we did them. And that's when everybody knew who we were. And shortly after that, because of the recognition and because of the success of the sales of the demo and because of my relationship was because Pantera was so successful, you know, they, they said, sure, it'd be fine to put out a side record and, and we'll do this for you and we'll do that for you and, and there you go. And it was a one-off and we didn't really realize how slightly spectacular it would come out. And I say so slightly spectacular because, you know, to me that record sound-wise sounds like a loud demo. You know, it's, it's very raw. Uh, the vocals are really quiet. Um, the sounds themselves are, I mean, leave much to be desired. And But the, the songs were there, you know. There was something interesting about the songs themselves. So, you know, with that said, we did the record. It sold what it sold with only barely, what, two weeks worth of touring in the States alone and nowhere else. And, uh, you know, it, there were different radio stations at all that would latch on to a certain song and like it and play it for a month or so another station would like another song and they'd play it for a month or so you know it was a, a lot of different favorite songs on these records you know this first LP and um, that to me right there was a small success in its own and uh, the shows didn't hurt at all. You know, of course, kids dubbed it, you know, and sold them over the Internet and shit. But really, all that does when you're a band like that is build the popularity of your band, even though you're not seeing a fucking dollar from these bastards, pirates. Anyway, uh, the legend began. And due through everybody's situation with their own group Jimmy being an I hate God as well as clear light as well as super joint ritual as uh, me being in Pantera Rex being in Pantera Pepper being in COC Kirk Green and Crowbar all of us had obligations every damn one of us had obligations and that's what really took us such a long fucking time to get back in there and do anything with Down. So eventually, I think we got together just a couple times and made a couple of um, jam box tapes. And when it came down to these 26 days of writing, this, this short month, of writing, which is November of this year. Uh, yeah, we listened to those tapes, but they were so... The references were so vague that we didn't really end up using much from these tapes. They were just there, and yeah, we used them a bit, but it everything was very spontaneous. Every riff was very, very, uh, had a lot of spontaneity to it, and we were not short for riffs. We had so many fucking riffs on this thing that putting them together, now, it wasn't a problem, it was just more of a challenge, I guess, to put these riffs together. And when we did, you know, we did it manually by ourselves, you know, just, just, on a tape and uh 
put these songs together and jeez damn man you know you look back and it's fucking pretty damn incredible so anyway that's where it leaves us